All right, so this is what I'm calling the WizPy mounting kit, which will allow you to mount a Wiz block and then a Raspberry Pi above that. So the kit's gonna include this acrylic board here, as well as some mounting hardware. So the acrylic plate is gonna have this film on top of it, and the first thing we need to do is remove that from the acrylic plate. All right, so now once we have that off, we can go ahead and dump the hardware from the bag. So what this kit is meant to do is to allow you to mount a WizBlock and a Raspberry Pi inside of one of these enclosures. Now these enclosures usually come with this grid plate that mounts inside there. And this kit allows you to mount the Raspberry Pi and the WizBlock to this grid plate. So the first thing we'll need to do is figure out the orientation. So if you look at the whiz block, it has four holes and this hole here is a bit offset. So we need to make sure that we match the holes on the acrylic plate here. So you can see here that it matches. Now if you lay the whiz block on top of there and, it, and the holes aren't matching, that's because the plate is upside down and you'll just have to flip it over. Once you have the orientation figured out, from there, we will insert the smaller standoffs there. And you can just hand tighten them to start off. And go and do that for all four of them. And here we have all four on, and we can see that the holes line up like we want. Now the remaining four holes are going to use these taller standoffs. And this is going to be for the Raspberry Pi. So you can see the holes line up for the Raspberry Pi here. So go ahead and hand tighten the first standoff for the Raspberry Pi. Once you have that on, go ahead and do the same for the other three holes. And there we have all of those on there. So once you have that hand tightened, you'll probably want to get a pair of pliers or something to tighten them up the, the rest of the way. Just don't tighten too much because you don't want to break anything. Okay, so we have all those tightened up and ready to go. So the whiz block will sit on there like so, and you're going to want the whiz block facing down in most cases. That USB-C port is going to be facing down. This will depend on your enclosure and how you're orienting things, but in my case here, I want this facing down from the top of the enclosure so it'll fit. So what we need to do now is figure out which hole, which two holes we're gonna mount to the grid plate. So you just need to figure out your orientation, where, where you want the placement to be on the grid plate. And you want to make sure you're not too far to the right or too far to the left. Because if you mount it there, you won't be able to fit it into the enclosure. So now that we have that figured out, the next step is we're going to use these spacers and these two longer screws that are included in the kit. First, we'll put the screw into one of the holes. And then we'll put a spacer through the screw. And then we'll put that in the hole that we're planning on mounting it to. We will grab a screwdriver and start screwing it on. Now make sure you don't tighten it all the way. You want to leave enough slack so you can lift it up so we can work on the other hole next. So for the other hole, we'll put the screw through and lift that up a little bit. Then we'll put our spacer through the screw and we'll mount that into place. So once we have the screw at the hole that we want, we can go ahead and screw it down and we can go ahead and tighten it all the way now. All right, so once we have that in place, we can go and mount our whiz block and we'll use these little screws to mount the whiz block to the plate. 
Let's go ahead and do all four screws and that's in place now. Next we'll do the same with the Raspberry Pi. So put the screw on and then do the rest. And there we have it. We have our WizBlock and Raspberry Pi mounted to the grid plate. And now we can go ahead and mount this to our enclosure and finish up our build. That'll do it for this video with the setup instructions for the WizPi mounting kit. If you'd like to get one of these kits and help support the channel, I'll include a link to the shop in the video description below. Thank you all and have a good one.